Hello. So this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use SimHub with any of the Codemasters F1 series. This should work on every F1 game from, well, all the ones that this uh, that SimHub supports, so from 2012, currently up to 2023, but in the future it will also support 2024, 25, etc. because they will all use the same telemetry system through SimHub. So, this is a tutorial on how to use an overlay or a dashboard on SimHub. So to do that, first you're going to need to find a dashboard or an overlay. So first what you're going to need to do is go to somewhere like Race Department or any of the other download sites that you want to use and find one that works for you. Obviously I create my own, so which we have here. I've when you download it from sim uh, from race department or something you'll need to unzip it but i've gone through all of that and just got what is my minimal overlay for f123 and just thrown it onto my desktop so what you need to do once sim hubs all loaded up is just give it a double click and it will say do you want to import this dashboard so you just click import into sim hub library sometimes this window doesn't actually pop up and it just imports it automatically. If it does, that's fantastic. But just click import. Let's say I've already, as I create this, this shouldn't come up for you, but um, it's saying obviously it already exists. Should I overwrite it? So I'm not going to overwrite it because I've made some changes to mine. Just as sort of like beta version that I'm going to be uploading when this is done. But once it's all done, click onto Dash Studio here. And this is the sort of center for everything that you've downloaded and all the default dashboards. So you can scroll through here and see all of those. Where mine actually go, because I prefer to have mine as an overlay, which means when I'm playing the game, it's on the same screen in front of me. Whereas a dashboard is usually used on another device, such as a mobile or on a different uh, monitor so if you wanted to have a monitor above with lots more information you can do that or you can have it as like I say as an overlay where it's literally on the screen um, as you can see in the other videos on my channel which are sort of advertising the overlays so this is the overlay that I've just loaded up it should come up here um, and if you double click into it or if you click more and then add a dashboard uh, edit dashboard if I say properly it comes up with everything that you want to see on here obviously if you know what you're doing on SimHub and you want to edit it this is the place where you go to edit anything if you wanted to delete these or if there was something that you didn't want you could just go in and delete that but otherwise just close it if you want to just use it how I made it so you're on this screen you can see the dash uh, the overlay that you want on here you're thinking right how do I get this onto my screen and when I'm playing the game you click new overlay layout and that pops up a nice little window here and it shows you what would be the game or whatever wherever you want to do it you click add overlay and then you select which one of all the ones you've downloaded i've obviously got loads i've got my safety car infographic we'll add that um, i'll also add the minimal overlay which i was just talking about and I'll add a little short quality thing that I made. Obviously, it's, depending on what you download, this may just have one thing. It may have 50 things. Uh, that's all dependent on what you've got. So if you were doing this with the game in the background, you could obviously see on screen where you specifically wanted them to. But you can just pull them around, make them a bit smaller if you want them a bit smaller. I prefer to have my minimal overlay on top of my Halo. So I prefer to have it somewhere around here, obviously you would actually see where it is when the game's running in the background, but I haven't got that open at the moment. So yeah, you would just adjust all of these to where you need, you click OK, and then you click Save Layout. Give it a name, so this would be Test for YouTube, click Save, and then you just click Stop Edit, and then it hides, you click Hide when not in race, so it doesn't just cover up your screen all the time and then when you actually get into a race that's when they all pop up big feature very good for sim hub to add that um, when you're done you just click close so now you can see here that I've got test for YouTube in my overlay layouts when I'm ready to load up uh, the F1 game 
I just click load and then it automatically loads everything where I previously set it up so it's literally two clicks and then I'm back to where I want to be for the overlay to work that's everything for if you want to get an overlay to work if you've got any more questions on like how to edit them I can make another video or do something like that but I think that's probably a bit more advanced for the time being and a lot of the questions seem to focus on how do I actually get the the overlays from the other video to actually work in SimHub. Um, if, like I say, if you're having any more problems, just drop a comment or pop me a message on Discord. My Discord's T Milo, um, and ooh, I should be able to help you out. But if not, I hope this has been helpful. If it has, pop a like or whatever the hell people do these days, and hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video.